hi guys and welcome back to my channel today i will be showing you guys how to make a super delicious pulled pork shoulder in the oven to get started here i have about six pounds of pork shoulder i did went ahead and trim some of the fat and give it a good wash with some vinegar and here i'll be using some black pepper sweet and smoky seasoning rub some seasoned salt onion powder garlic powder and some complete seasoning First, we'll add all the seasonings to a bowl and we'll mix until it's well combined. This will make it super easy to distribute onto the pork. Now we'll generously coat our pork with the seasonings, but we'll wait for about 5 minutes before we flip it and coat the other side. Reason for this is we want the seasonings to sweat and adhere to the pork before we flip it because we don't want the seasonings falling off. If you want, you can add oil to allow the seasoning to stick, but the pork is already fatty and I didn't want to add to that fat by adding oil. After about five minutes, we'll flip the pork and repeat the same process. Once we're done coating the pork generously with the seasonings, we'll let it sit for about an hour before we place it inside of the oven. Here I have a deep baking pan with a rack that I'll be using and what I like to do is spray the rack so that nothing sticks and I like to add some water at the bottom of the pan so nothing burns and that also keeps the pork moist. Then I will add some liquid smoke to give that pork a nice smoky flavor and we will place the pork on the rack we'll cover with some foil wrapping and we will allow this to cook on 275 degrees for eight hours the last two hours we'll remove the foil and allow the pork to get some color on there So here I have this vinegar based sauce that I love to add to my pulled pork. My husband put me onto this and I was hooked ever since. So while the pork is in the oven, I will show you guys how I made this. This is best to be made like two days before if you know you're going to make pulled pork. You make this like two days before and have it in the fridge. So here is what you're going to need for this sauce. You'll need some apple cider vinegar some brown sugar you're gonna need some ketchup black pepper red pepper flakes and some salt add all the ingredients to a small saucepan bring it up to a boil once it starts to boil you will turn the heat off allow it to cool down then transfer it to a you know a bowl or whatever you want to store it in and allow it to sit in the refrigerator for about a day or two that will give you the best results. So after about eight long hours, guys, the pork shoulder is now done and it smells super amazing. I could smell that smoky flavor. I could smell all the seasonings I put on there and it's I can't wait to dig in. But first, we will let it rest for about 30 minutes before I show you guys what it looks like. So before we pull this pork apart, I just wanted to show you guys how easily I will remove this bone from the meat. And that's one of the ways you'll know if your pork is cooked to perfection. The bone will be easily removed and it will be super clean with no meat, you know, left stuck to it or anything like that. And it's just amazing. Now 
Now let's go ahead and shred or pull our pork apart into smaller pieces. I am just doing, you know, a little bit of the pork for now and later on we will do the rest. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how it's pulled and how tender it is. And I wanted to make me a sandwich so you guys can see how we eat this and stuff. For those who don't know then, I'll show you guys, you know, how we fix up a nice sandwich and everything. And the stuff that I put on my pulled pork to make it taste, you know, delicious. Once we're done shredding or pulling the meat, we'll go ahead and add that vinegar based sauce that we made earlier. That is absolutely delicious on a pulled pork. If you've never tried this before, please go ahead and try it. It is amazing. And when you pair it with some barbecue sauce, oh my God, I am telling you, you will never go back to eating pulled pork regular again. So we'll add that in and then we will add some barbecue sauce here. And because we did not inject the pork with the marinade or brine the pork, the pork, the flavor of the seasonings didn't seep all the way in the middle of the meat. So what you'll need to do is season up your meat a little bit more. So what I do, I take the drippings from the pork you know, all that juice that the pork um, released. I like to save that and I like to add it here. And boy, oh boy, it is super delicious. I cannot explain it to you guys. You have to try it for yourself. That's the seasoning that we will add there. Instead of adding salt and, you know, all the stuff, just add that drippings because all that have you know the seasonings from the meat that we marinated and it has those lovely juices from the pork so it's super delicious in here like i said this drippings or pork broth is just an additional seasoning added to the meat like if you feel like the seasoning didn't get all the way through down into the meat and it needs a bit more touching up you just add that. That has all the seasonings in there. All the seasonings have dripped down into your baking pan and you can save that and add it in here. And it's absolutely amazing. Now let's fix us a sandwich. This is super easy. What you do is just add your pulled pork on your bun and you can add as much or as little as you like. You know, just go by your own preference. If you like pickles, you can add that also. I did not have any on hand, so I won't be adding that today. And I will add some homemade coleslaw. And that's it. Super easy and simple, but it is bursting with flavors and it is absolutely delicious. I do hope you guys give this recipe a try and you can tell me in the comments, you know, what you think. And tell me how you guys make your pulled pork. I know I have people in my comment section that make pulled pork so you know let me know your ideas and stuff and how you like yours and for those who have never tried it give it a try and let me know so this is my take on a pulled pork shoulder in the oven it is cooked to perfection extremely tender juicy bursting with flavor and it is everything you would want in a pulled pork I do hope you guys enjoy my video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget guys, hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!